Hi guys, I am back again and the reason why I'm doing this video is because I'm not going to be afraid anymore. I'm not going to be afraid on what I'm going to say about people and it's harder to say this as well about my family. Now, I've had a weird day today, really weird day. I'm not very well since after what happened last night. I'm still not quite right because my head's really like sort of muzzy effect and um and tension pain around here and I just don't know what to do anymore guys even though I'm happy with Andrew but it just feels like I don't know I don't know if it's me it's just I feel that everybody's just gone away from me and even my family and I asked my dad to lend me some money even though I didn't like to ask him and he kicked off of me saying about my drinking blah blah this blah blah that as usual putting me down and it did put me down and family shouldn't do that guys you know I don't drink nearly every fucking day you know what I mean and I was talking to my friend on Facebook and she said, you don't drink every day like you used to. And I said, yes, I know. I just wish people would understand that about me. I don't drink every day. And my family should know that. My God, I wish I could bloody afford it. I tell you, I borrowed the money, extra money off my dad to get some shopping in because I needed some shopping in today to Thursday and he's getting it back it just pisses me off guys pisses me off oh, I was inboxing Marcus told him the problem he's gone offline I thought great so you're not talking to me my own son when he's supposed to be coming on Thursday Sorry, Marcus. No, I didn't mean to say that. But... It's just hard, guys. I don't really have people to talk to and I want people to talk to. And... I don't even have any friends much left now because they've all fucked off. I knew this would happen. As soon as... Someone dies in my life. Oh, they're all around me when when people die. And when they're not, they fuck off. But they use me. They use me and hurt me and bully me. Them are the three things what they do. And I'm not going to be afraid to just say it. Because I know I'm right. And people know from my Facebook and people know from YouTube, they know I'm right as well. And... It's because, I mean, last year, I had all this shit going on with my money situation, ESM. Um, and that last last year before Christmas, and then it was after Christmas when it all started again. But last year, at the same time, before Christmas, I had problems with friends. And I'm going to mention it. I don't care anymore if I mention it, right? I have to talk to somebody and I have to say the names. I don't care anymore because you do enough shit about me on the internet. You do enough things about me on the internet. You write statuses about me on the internet. So it's about the fucking time I did something for me. Okay, and stand up for myself because I am telling it how it is. And if people don't like it, don't watch me. That's all I say. That's what I say every time. Nothing's happened today. Nothing's happened on the internet. Nothing's happened on YouTube. Nothing's happened on Facebook. This is just me. I want to get it out of my system because I'm sick and tired of building up every single little fucking feeling I've got inside of me. 
and I can't lay out to anyone because I can't trust anyone because they blab it about. It's true, guys. It is totally true. And like I was saying, last year, just after Dougie died, I had a friend called Davina and we were like bees, literally like bees knees. And Sarah, my other friend, she lost her wife, lesbian last. I've got nothing against lesbians or gays. I love them to bits. As long as I treat them right, they treat me right. And they are more better friends than any other people who I know. And she, she lost her wife. She was my carer, basically. I'm telling you the full story how it, how it started. all started from now. From then to now. Right. Sarah was my carer. But I don't know if she was my carer or not. Whether she was just using me. She was supposed to come back one night to my house to have a DVD night with me and my son. But that never happened. We didn't get any texts. We didn't get nothing. All she could have done was sent me a text to say, oh, I'm at Davina's. I'll see you whenever. And I would have said, Okay, fine. That's no problem. Do you know what I mean, guys? People just do things out the blue, change and go like that. And she had £25 of my money. Now, I got a text off a friend who knows him quite well. And he told me, that she was supposed to put it through the letterbox. Now, didn't see the money, didn't see my shopping. So I had to borrow money again of my dad. Because I was doing a party at the same time. Do you know what I mean, guys? And it was done my head in. And then my money got stopped in November. Well, according to them, it was October, but they paid me till November the 22nd. And my money officially got stopped on November the 22nd till February the 2nd. But when I went for the tribunal in March, that was all backdated from then. And people started coming back, apart from the other two who are lost but mind you I've had a lot of jealous jealous people on the Facebook complaining about me and everything because they don't get help there is help out there just look for it if you're working and you're supporting your family there is help out there you just got to go in the right places like I have done and I know People should help because that food bank's there for everybody, I, I think. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I hope it is because the food bank does help people. And because I put a picture of a food bank hamper, what I would call it, a food parcel thing, and this was because I didn't have no money for three weeks, which you've heard on my earlier videos. And this was because I didn't have any money coming in and I had to borrow off my dad just for the gas and the electric. I had to go to the council, um, the hardship, whatever you bloody call the thing. I had to go there to get some gas and electric from the council, plus my food parcel letter. So I could get my food parcel. Mind you, it was quite good stuff. But some of the stuff I couldn't eat. um, Because on my tummy and that. And it was like sickly stuff. And so it was alright on my short week. Because I did get the... I did it so... Like sort of before I knew I was getting the money coming back in. And that's how I did it. 
and I've heard from other people, it's not all in uh, me who went to food banks, but I've heard from other people that they go, and so why be ashamed of it? Do you know what I mean? If, the, if it's there for you to help, get help, why be ashamed? And I'm not, I'm speaking from experience because I was, I was kept looking around, seeing, seeing if anybody was there who knew me. And I thought, oh, no, I hope nobody does see me going to places like this. You know what I mean? That's what I was thinking, but I wanted to do it because I wanted to get the help. And I even said to the guy, I don't normally come to places like this. I normally get food off my mum and dad, which th I do. And my dad said to me, he said to me, he said, if I need anything, anything at all, he said, I'll support you. And now the tables have changed. Like all my friends, the tables have changed. Because they're jealous. This is how I look at the world. It's because it's jealous. Too much jealousy in this world. It needs to stop, guys. I mean, I'm getting tired. Really tired. I mean, I'm not getting young anymore. I'm not getting older. And I don't know if I could keep carrying on doing all this, trying to please everybody. And this is how it feels. I'm pleasing them and nobody's pleasing me. Does that sound selfish? Does that sound wrong? I don't know. But who are we to judge? Who are we to judge? I mean, I know that bit right. Who are we to judge? I mean... It's just hard, guys. Really hard because... I've lost so many friends through since Dougie's died. And I know it sounds weird, but I miss them. I really do miss them. Because I know how Dougie... None of this would have happened if Dougie was still alive. And it's coming up to two months. Time for a year. I've been wanting to go to the creme since April and I've never got time to get there. And I feel bad because I haven't gone to the crematorium. I haven't even got his plaque for his bench because I've had to pay bills out and everything else and get shopping in. Now there's me and Andrew, it's, it, it's a struggle, but we're getting, we'll get there. You have to. There's one thing I've done today. I'm going to send my big coffee table back to Bright House because I think it's too big in the room and I've been looking for TV. I'm going to get a small TV unit and a small hi-fi unit. Um, but I've seen a nice one at King Centre. So I'm hoping I'm going to have the money money for that this week or next week so I can get it from, from there. I'm sorry, guys, I didn't mean to cry. <coughs> I just didn't mean to cry. It's just... I get... So many friends who we had and just disappeared on us like and it feels like you've been used to hurt guys and it feels abused even though people say carry on make some new friends but I don't know if I can if I can trust again it's my feeling it's my heart and 
I'm sick of getting abused all the time from it. Because they can see I'm vulnerable still. And people know that. Pinching up me, that's the lowest. That is the lowest. I mean, even when I had no money, I didn't go out pinching. I would never dream of pinching. Because the simple fact is, you know, karma will get you. No matter which way you look at it, karma will get you. And, I, and it's true. What have I done to deserve this, guys? What have I done to deserve it? What? And it's making me think, what have I done? I mean, I'm the most kindest person you can meet and the lovest person you can meet. And, and people treat me like this. I don't understand it, guys. Really don't. There was a picture link on Facebook today and it said something sometimes we struggle but we hide our scars and that's true because I've never hid my scars until now and since what's happened through from last year to now and that's why I've said I'm not going to be afraid anymore because I want to let it all out and be brave but I don't know if I can anymore and I'm trying my best to be brave because I want people I know people look up at me and think well she has been through such a lot and I have been through such a lot guys and it you just don't know how much your body can take anymore you really don't. I mean, I know some people suffer from bipolar. I know people suffer from anxiety attacks like I do, panic attacks, schizophrenic, stuff like that. And I don't know how people can cope with that. I really don't each day. Each day and now, I mean, I'm struggling with grief and... And I'm struggling... <laughs> Just being myself. But I can't feel anything anymore. Does that sound strange, guys? I can't feel what I used to feel. I just feel nothing in my heart. Because I've been used so much. And it just feels like it's going down, down, down. And nothing's getting back up. And. I'm just going to hope. The next couple of months. Is going to be a bit better for us. A bit better for me. And Andrew of course. Because. I've not had it good. Up till now. And. I've had some good days. And I've had some bad days. And. It's why I'm not going to do a few, a lot of videos late in the next couple of days. Um, you'll see my first day session on Thursday, um, but till Tuesday, that's when you're going to be seeing the videos till then, because I need time out, guys. Really need time out to sort my heart, head out, because at the moment. I'm not myself and I've had two fits last night and YouTube can stress me out and Facebook can and I'm not going to keep off Facebook because I've got my friends on there to talk to and it's sometimes I know it sounds weird but a complete stranger who you don't know it helps because they don't know you and you don't know them and you can talk to them because it makes you feel better and I found out today as well um, a friend of mine somebody in their family 
um, is self-harming and I don't believe in that guys even though I've done it a few times myself when I was really really bad please don't do it because it's not good it really isn't good because once you do that you just keep on doing it and I only do it because I need a cry out for help sometimes and because I get frustrated with my disability and I can't talk properly to people. I get frustrated, I get mad and that's when I start to shout at people and, you know, I, 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 and that's then when I'm on my own, when no one's, well, even when Andrew's asleep and when no one's around, sometimes I just do that. I know you shouldn't do it, guys. You shouldn't do it. I mean, it is wrong. It is wrong. I mean, I don't feel sorry for people to do, do it. And it's just one of those things what they have to do. Uh, some people can handle it and some can't. And if you're worried about that person, just support them. That's all I say, just support them. Because... I don't know much about it myself and it's hard for me because I'm going through a little bit of it myself. It's it's not serious. I would not say mine's serious, but I know some people can have it serious and mine's quite mild. I'm sorry, guys. It's just... Just a shock for me saying stuff like this to you guys. And it's oh, you just don't want to go there. All oh, that's all I say, you just don't want to go there. I mean I've I've been well, I haven't been treated, but um I've had depression tablets because I, I knew my depression was coming back and this was after Dougie. And it's took a lot in from like from then till now and this is basically a video of all my updates through from August last year up to to um May this year and next month me and Dougie would have been living in this house for three years and would you believe it three years guys three whole years and we've been married four year in no hang on five year in it last april because we stayed we were at the other old house for two year before we moved here and it just doesn't seem real guys it doesn't seem real i mean even though i'm with andrew i still keep thinking he's around me and uh, dougie and i keep thinking i've seen him and this house sometimes doesn't feel like my house. I know this sounds strange, but it doesn't. And I have been thinking about moving, but I don't want to move again because it's all the hassle, all the stress, everything. And my dad doesn't want me to move, but it's I'm happy here. And I couldn't ask for anywhere else, really. And... I mean, we wouldn't have good neighbours, like, and if I didn't move somewhere else, what's the chances of me having bad neighbours? And I don't want that. I want good neighbours. And it's just difficult what you feel every single day of life. And you just don't know what's going to come round the corner, guys. You really don't. And you've got to make, make it happen. And... I am going to go on that note because I know you guys support me and thank you for all the comments on YouTube because you really do make me happy even though some have been nasty but some have been okay with me and also thank you for watching my YouTubes all night as some people do and that's a good one and that's it, guys. Be cool. Be happy. Stay tuned.
Hells 402. I will be.